Howard here with Message in a Bottle from the Police, of course, and uh, I'm a big Andy Summers fan. I think what he brought to the table was really original and really cool, and of course the police were uh, an incredible trio. Uh, this is a signature riff from them, of course, Message in a Bottle, and uh, I'm going to show you how Andy evolved the riff over time. He didn't really change the notes or anything, but he played it differently. Originally, in the early days, he used to play it with these shapes. <laughs> Later on, he played it this way. And I happen to like that second way. In fact, that's the way I always played it uh, when I was playing clubs. And it has both the advantage of sounding a little brighter, which I like, it's a little crisper, and it seems like an easier and more logical way to play it and actually sounds a little bit more flowing. Uh, with the original fingering, you've got to jump all the way from the seventh fret down to the second fret. Uh, but this way, uh, everything's kind of all within this space. on the tab there uh, exactly what I'm playing but what I'll talk about is the picking and you can play it like this as well if you want to use your second finger instead of your ring finger you can do that uh, for that one I use two and four and then if you want to go back to that but I do use my ring finger for that and I'm cross picking in the right hand down down up down down up down down up down down up and slide Okay, and then we bust out into this part. but <laughs> anyway uh, so that's kind of just the driving uh, rock part of the tune all right so we've got an A major uh, bar chord of course and then a D and an E and we're just driving that with down strokes with a little subtle muting back here kind of keep your hand moving for the most part, especially at the tempo that we're actually traveling. But you want to try to put a little bit of that backbeat thing in there. One and two and three and four and sharp minor chord and uh, as a note sometimes you would see Andy Summers play it from the F sharp to an actual just standard uh, D shape uh, but most of the time he would play the D as a bar chord up here it's a little tighter sounding notes again and again with a little bit of muting and uh, trying to bring out that backbeat a little bit. And then we move to a C sharp minor seventh uh, and this is the part that when you watch him play it live no matter what year it is he messes with this part the most, but what you're really hearing on the studio recording is C sharp minor seventh to an A major. Three times and then he parks it on 
an F sharp minor. Uh, but that was the part that he would mess with the most. Uh, so a couple of cool ideas you can add in there is just kind of pick through the chord. And if you go to the A chord, it's cool to use the tip of your finger on the sixth string to eliminate the bar. That way you get this nice. And you can really mess with these chords a lot and get some great sounds, especially with all the thick, heavy chorusing going on. you park it on an F sharp minor and if I remember right I think on the original recording that's why I was messing with those harmonics those are those infamous Lenny bro harmonics but I shall leave that for uh, another lesson at another time so that's all the parts there I trust that you can listen to the recording and uh, hear the arrangement it's pretty much a, a circle like that although uh, Certain parts will go twice as long, okay? So that's Message in a Bottle from the Police. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, all the best to everyone.